Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm Chief of the Spine Pain Program at Bloor Pain Specialists, and today I'm going to be talking about MRI. So when you think about each of these, it's just a different shape of the disc. And, and you know, if we think about MRI reports, before the internet, before these things were really available to patients all the time, these reports were sent from radiologists to other physicians so that they could describe in words what the shape of something was, what the shape of a picture was. And that shape means something to physicians that can be correlated with symptoms. And nowadays it's something that's been worrying patients. So I want to provide a little bit of that clarity. So a disc bulge is a simple thing. It, it, first off, let's talk about this. This cushion vertebrae. They're cushioning one bone from the next bone, uh, creating a sort of a bouncy space so the bones aren't hitting into each other. Well, over time, that can flatten. And as it flattens, like cookie dough. Say you had a ball of cookie dough. If you were to take a cylinder and you push down on it, it would widen as it got flatter. Same with the disc. As it flattens, it has to get wider. So a disc can, is cushioning bone A from bone B. And over time, that cushioning might not be so good. The, the disc can flatten. Well, as it loses height, the disc area has to go somewhere. It doesn't just vaporize, it doesn't disappear. You don't breathe it away. That disc has to spread, and that's a bulge. Versus if, more, if it's more focal, that is a protrusion. A protrusion can pinch on a nerve that's passing by and cause you to have symptoms. And a protrusion is directed one way or another. Sometimes it's right in the center, sometimes far to the right, far to the left, sometimes kind of to the right, just off center, kind of to the left, just off center. And that it will pinch whatever it's touching. If it's a nerve that's leaving at that level, that's what's symptomatic. If it's a nerve that's leaving at the next level below, that's being pinched higher up because it's being pinched towards the center before it leaves this window, well, that's what's going to be symptomatic. And that, so that protrusion is a sign of something more focal rather than the general bulge. Now, on top of the protrusion, something else can happen. As, as the disc border thins, it can crack. That's called an annular tear. The annulus is the outer coating of the disc. And as it cracks, it's got a rough surface. And that can irritate some of the nerves that are passing by. That can cause a little inflammation and that can cause a little mobility. So it can be a dynamic process, meaning that when people move in a certain way, ah, it hurts. Move back a certain, ah, it hurts again. And that's what can sometimes catch people and limit their mobility. Now, when an annular tear opens up even more, the jelly center of a disc can come out. And when we think about disc anatomy, well, a disc has two layers. It's got a soft, bouncy center called the nucleus pulposus. It's kind of like it's jelly filling. And then it's got the outer coating, which is like a pillow case, except it's not so thin. It's a thick rubbery case that over time gets thinner, or at least it can. And that thick rubbery case, as it cracks and as it opens, the jelly can come out. Now, if the jelly comes out, that's the nucleus pulposus coming out, that, that center is now called, referred to as being extruded. So that's a disc extrusion. And that means that the contents have come out. Now, they're, if they're still connected, if they're still a bridge, it is an extrusion. But if that, those contents that have left, they get separated. There's a complete divide. That's called the sequestration. That's called a disc sequestration. And a disc herniation, this is an excellent one. Same with a slip disc. Those are general terms, colloquial, non-medical terms that refer to some of these disc pathologies. We, we often hear disc herniation. We often hear slipped disc, but that doesn't actually mean med anything specific medically. We're, when we're thinking about specific things, we have to say the proper terms like disc bulge, protrusion, extrusion, sequestration. Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions that you'd like us to address in a future video, please leave them in the comments area. If you want us to answer any questions about your care specifically, please contact the clinic directly.